Tonight, in this chamber, I'm reminded of the words of uh, Francis Wright, the great social reformer, who said, and I quote, equality is the soul of liberty. There is, in fact, no liberty without it. Tonight, in this chamber, we debate a referendum bill which is not about children, it's not about urban versus rural, it isn't about political parties or independence against one another, it isn't about liberals or conservatives, and it isn't about church and state. It's about us as a nation, as citizens, and our constitution. This bill is about marriage equality, but this bill isn't asking our citizens to do anything that they don't want to do. It's asking them to vote, hopefully, in favour of the referendum. This bill is about extending to all of us as citizens the right to marry the person we love. It's about us as equal citizens under our constitution. And this is the last great civil rights battle of a generation. As many speakers have said as we approach 2016 and the anniversary of that 1916 rising, the words of our proclamation, as has been quoted tonight in this chamber, ring true, of cherishing all of our children equally. We are nearly there, Cahirlook, but we're not quite yet there. And that's why this referendum is so important. What kind of an equal society says, you're not worthy, you're not equal, you don't deserve true membership? Cahir, look, I would contend that we cannot, as a nation, claim equality if we push our children away from something we value and cherish. This referendum is about the republic that we live in, a republic that represents all of its people, all of our citizens, no matter who they are. It provides the conditions for all people to prosper, which includes our spiritual prosperity. It allows us to love, to hope, to share our dreams. A republic grants equal status to everyone, regardless of our race, of our creed, of our culture, of our language, of our social status, of our family status, or of our sexual orientation. This bill and the referendum to follow gives us an opportunity to reaffirm our republic, the republic. It allows us to recognize the rights of all of our citizens. Marriage is a long regarded institution and because it creates a bond between two people who want to live together in love, it creates stability for those people. It gives them recognition and confidence to be open about their relationships. And many of us, Cahirlook, have had the privilege of growing up in a household where there was that love, where there was that commitment. And I will contend, Cahirlook, that in this referendum, People will enter into different sideshows about family and children. But this referendum is about the rights of all of our people. There is no undermining of society. There is no undermining of family. There is no undermining of existing heterosexual marriage. Where is the undermining in this referendum? There is none. Because the marriage that my sister and my brother has will not be undermined. Nor will the marriage of my friends or my parents or other parents that I know. The opposite, in fact. And all that will come from this bill and the referendum being passed is a mature, outward, forward-looking Ireland. An Ireland that's more caring, more gentle, and more accepting. And that's why tonight we are taking another small step on the road to full equality.
for all of our people. It may not seem much to some, but for many of us and our friends, it means an awful lot. I want Cahirak to compliment our older generation of citizens, some of whom are unsure about this referendum and about marriage equality. They are people across our country over a certain age who have gone through more changes than any previous generation, including in families in every county, every townland, every rural area, who've lived with their sons and daughters coming out, and in some cases entering into civil partnerships. The overwhelming majority of these older people, parents in many cases, can be proud of how generously and supportive they have been and how they responded to their loved ones coming out. Now those parents are thinking of the lo uh, that their love for their children didn't disappear when they found out they were gay, on the contrary. So I would ask them tonight, why would they accept and why should they accept that their sons and daughters being excluded from something as precious as civil marriage? Cahir and Minister, Nobody has anything to fear from this bill and referendum being passed. We, have made, we, we, we may as a nation have been slow to embrace change, but as a people we have come a long way from the monocultural society that we were, that we were only a few decades ago to one now who has discarded the relics of the past and in this doll under this government We've lanced many of those balls. Who genuinely believes that we are a weaker society for giving equality in law to women, the disabled, the traveling community, and those of different religious or racial backgrounds? We are a stronger nation for those actions in the past, and we will be a stronger society in passing this referendum on the 22nd of May. I do hope, Cahirak, that we as a nation will embrace this referendum, a vote that will allow us to improve the lives of our fellow citizens and take another significant step on the road to that hallowed republic. I want to commend Minister Fitzgerald for her stewardship as minister, and I'm very proud to have sat next to her tonight because as leader of the Fine Gael group in Shannon Aaron in 2010, she led the Fine Gael party in that Shannon that I was proud to be with her in, in the civil partnership. And tonight, in this chamber, and at cabinet table, she has been a champion of the road to equality. And I want to commend other people in my own party, people like Sheila Terry, Brian Hayes, Charlie Flanagan, Alan Shatter, for the work that we've done as a party in the 90s, in the 2000s. And I want to commend the men and women of Glen, of marriage equality, of LGBT noise, who have worked tirelessly to ensure that this referendum will come to the people in a vote. And can I conclude, Cahirluk, to the younger generation, who will have an opportunity to vote in this referendum. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them to have their vote heard and to make real change. They are, and they can be, the custodians of a new legacy, a legacy of an Ireland that is inclusive, welcoming, and that sends a signal to the rest of the world that we can be the first democratic nation to vote yes in favour of marriage equality. I'm very proud to be a member of this government and of this parliament, of this house of the Oireachtas. I hope the Irish people will, in their hundreds of thousands, vote in a plurality in this referendum. This is about the lives of all of us as citizens. It is about the future. It is about a new republic. 
where we are all equal, cherished under our constitution as equal citizens. I commend the bill and I hope the people will vote yes. Good morning.